pair of battalier eagles. Beautifully posed on a dead knob thorn. Now it doesn't look like much because the sky is so grey. It's very, very dark and cloudy as we've all been chatting about. And the clouds are moving quite quickly now as the wind picks up. And you can see that the wind has definitely picked up as the birds' feathers ruffle. <laughs> which is quite funny and I'm sure that they're sitting up nice and high the highest spot so that they can dry their feathers out as I'm sure they would have got a little bit damp last night oh, that one just pulled out an old feather that's not necessary well not needed anymore it's now also almost choking on it come on spit it out you can't eat your own feathers and of course it's not trying to eat its own feather it's just stuck to the tip of its bill which is unfortunate let's see if it's going to use its foot use your foot to take it out or use your friend's foot. You can do that too. Now this is most likely a male and female. They both look like adults. They've got the brown patch on the neck, the white barring on the sides of the wings, the red facial plumage and the red legs. Oh, and now they're going to preen each other. And this is another thing that would definitely say to me that this is a male and female because they are monogamous and they're constantly working on strengthening the bond between the two. And of course, well, grooming or preening, as it is in with, with birds, is one of the easiest ways. Now, it's difficult to actually tell you which one is <coughs> male versus which one is female. Typically, the females are bigger. So I reckon it may be the female that's, that is receiving the grooming, because the one on the right, the one closest to us, looks just a little bit smaller. Not by much. But just a little bit. Actually, Craig, can I, I'm going to reposition very quickly. What I want to do is I want to try and get them both face on. So if we go around the corner a little bit, we may get a better view. So let's carry on. Let's go around here. Ah, oh, yes, this is going to be better. This is actually going to be very nice. There we go, Craig. Now we can see, now you can actually see the size difference slightly. Now natural, you're wondering how my bird list is going. It's actually going quite well. I don't think we've added Batelier to the list yet. I shall get my mobile out, seeing as though I'm, I'm making the list on my phone. I've actually got to add a couple more that I haven't put on here. Um, it, it's not going, I mean, I've actually have stopped, not stopped doing the challenge because I keep adding every time we see a, a new bird. But I also have been a little bit slack, but perhaps now well this gloomy morning is bizarrely often the best days to do a birding maybe we shall try and do some but have a little listen as the dawn chorus is only waking up at eight minutes past six they're very late so have a little listen Lots of turtle doves going at the moment. There's a couple of robins. You can hear a laughing dove. Me slapping my face as a fly sits on it. This is all I can hear at the moment. It's just the turtle dove and the laughing doves. Goodness gracious, they are dominating today. And typically you hear a, a good all round of birds. But one bird that you don't actually hear very often is is the raptors and the battaliers as well. You don't, they don't normally call when they call when they're in flight. And it's actually quite an amazing thing to see. Look at that. That is actually really sweet. Grooming through all the feathers there. Using that sharp hook to actually help. So when they call, they'll be flying around. And they sort of, it sounds like a squawk. They remind me of the turkeys of the sky or the chickens of the sky. They've got a weird call. But as they do that, they drop their legs too. And uh, it's, quite, it's quite something to see. I can't quite describe it very well this morning, but uh, hopefully we'll be able to see it one day. Maybe this, uh, this morning or this uh, sunset safari, and then we'll be able to go through it and have a look. But very attentive as well, even the birds constantly looking over their shoulders because there are bigger raptors out in the bush too. Not that they'd receive too much trouble, I don't think. Oh my goodness, Craig, we have an emergency on our hands. We have to get a quarry branch because I'm going to lose my mind with these flies today. They are everywhere 